Today we're talking about the brand new Speedmaster Cine Lenses from Zongyi Optics. Officially today, Zongyi Optics has released a brand new set of Speedmaster Cine Lenses and they've been kind enough to send these over for me to test out and tell you what I think about them. Now, while these look like higher end lenses, the question is, is do they operate and perform like higher end lenses? And that's what we're gonna take a look at here today. So let's start the conversation off talking about the overall image performance of these lenses. Now, I'll be honest, it's really hard not to compare these to the brand new C-Ray Nightwalker Cine lenses, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that these should not be compared to the Nightwalker Cine lenses because while the Nightwalker Cine lenses are a little bit more clinical and give you that nice clean image, these double down in the effort of character. One of the things that made this clear to me was how these lenses flare. The Nightwalkers had really good flare control, whereas the Zongyi Optics, they just let the lens flare and I actually really like the way they flare and so you can already see that these are going to be more character driven lenses rather than more clinical. Now talking about image performance these are only for APS-C cameras. They do offer a T1 aperture and they're relatively sharp at T1. I think it's a pretty usable image. Now obviously when you start stopping down to T2 or T2.8 you start getting a really sharp image. Now while the 50 millimeter is softer than the other two lenses I do feel like they are pretty well color matched and they do offer limited chromatic aberration. I've actually been really happy with the overall image performance. I do appreciate the nice organic vintage vibe that these lenses do produce. And so with that, let's go over and talk about what I think about the build of these lenses. Now, if you're a fan of just metal tank cinema lenses, these are the lenses you wanna look at. They offer an 88 millimeter outer diameter and all of the lenses are 93 millimeters in length and I'll put somewhere on the screen the conversion to inches. They do offer a 270 degree focus throw and it's really well dampened and so you're gonna have a nice measure of resistance when you are pulling or racking focus. The lenses are currently offered for Sony E-mount, Nikon Z-mount, Fuji X mount, as well as Canon RF mount. Now, usually I'm in the L mount alliance and talking about L mount alliance things, but these currently are not being offered for the L mount alliance. And so if you do own an L mount camera, unfortunately, you're not gonna be able to use these at this time. Now, as I mentioned before, these are a follow-up to the original Speedmaster Cine lenses that Zongyi Optics put out a few years ago. And you can see that there is a little bit more bulk to the lens. And that to me is gonna be a little bit more in line with their full frame cine lenses that they put out last year. And so I do appreciate the consistency that they're trying to make with the build of their lenses. And overall, I really do appreciate how these lenses are designed. And so with that, let's talk about who these lenses are for. Now, personally for myself, I've really enjoyed my time with these lenses. They are not perfect. And I've actually really enjoyed the fact that they're not perfect. I shoot with Sigma cine lenses. Those are more clinical, more sterile, and I love them for that. But I do love a lens with good character to give me something else to shoot with and give me an alternative to those more modern, clean, and sterile images. And so with that in mind, I would recommend these lenses to people that are wanting a more character-driven image, an alternative to an image that is a little bit more clean and sterile. And so if you are somebody that's on a budget looking for a lens set that offers a ton of character while at the same time not breaking the bank, then I would absolutely consider checking out the brand new Speedmaster Cine lens set from Zongyi Optics. And so that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a like. And if you're into the overall content from the channel, consider subscribing. As always, thank you for joining. Go and find your journey. Go embrace life. Peace. <laughs>